One question I always get asked as a reader is why I read and this question I could never answer. Some people are really eloquent with being able to answer kind of why they read, whether it be for escapism or for some other reason that I now can't think of. Um, but those kind of answers never came very easy because reading was just something I did. It was just something that I had done for a very young age and I was always told stories as a child and grew up with a kind of almost a need for fiction or kind of a need to read books. It was just something almost that was a part of me. But recently I've been thinking about the kind of books that I choose to read and why I choose those certain books. And one kind of theme kept coming up and that theme was curiosity. In fact it isn't a theme, it's it's something that I look for in a book, it's something that I look for in life. I know this may not make any sense, but it really does in my head, so just bear with me. One of the things I pride myself with is being always curious about practically anything and everything. That's one of the greatest things I think about humans, about us as people. We are all curious about other people. I spend a lot of my time thinking when I'm in a room with loads of people going, are they seeing the same things that I'm seeing? How are they interpreting it? What's the world like from their eyes, from their situation? <laughs> I can't speak. And that, that kind of curiosity about humanity and about people fascinates me. I'm always wanting to find out more about the world and about people. And one way I do that is through books. The brilliant thing about books and with many different art forms is that they build bridges between people and they break down boundaries between countries and cultures and so many different things and that's why they're so important. Books not only make us even more curious about the world, they challenge our perceptions of the world. They challenge our perceptions of other cultures and other people and make us think about our lives and maybe even make our lives better because of something that we've read. They make us discuss topics that maybe we might not have discussed if we hadn't have read a book about them. For example, after reading Never Let Me Go, I was constantly thinking about this idea of cloning, but not even the idea of cloning, the idea of what makes us human. Am I human? In my mind, I know that I'm human, but when we start listing things that are human, it really kind of makes your mind just go, like, explode, because it's so almost indefinable. And I think, would I be having that conversation if I hadn't have read this book? If Ishiguro hadn't have made such an impact on me, would I be sitting here with a group of people talking about the significance of our lives? Those questions, what it means to be alive, what it means to be human, will, the idea that we're all going to die and how that impacts us, something that is so almost uncanny, that's something that we're so familiar with, but yet every time it shakes us and it's so hurtful and so damaging and we can't fully comprehend that we're going to die, but yet we know we are. And I know this hasn't been an eloquent point that all fits together but I am so curious about the world and about other people and about how other people view things that that's why I read. I read to learn more, I read to experience things that I will never maybe have a chance to experience and we share those experiences. There is something so equal about reading in a way because if I read a book, so many people have had that, that shared experience, but yet we all think differently about it, but yet at the time that we're reading, we're all equal. I don't know where this video is going. <laughs> this is why I don't do unscripted videos as soon as I wake up. Curiosity is a thing that we should all cherish, and that we continue to be constantly curious. I think curiosity is one of the most important things about being human about being a part of humanity, about being a person that is alive. And I just think that's really important and that's why I read.
because through books I can be very nosy and I can be challenged and disturbed and awakened just by reading a book and that's something very magical.